G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. You're watching Flash Like Crazy. I'm here today on a sweltering Melbourne day with two new Malkoffs. So there's a catch though, because you've got the new Malkoff bodies. Check them out. Oh yeah, smooth at the contact point of the pocket clip. Thank you very much. But these have Nietzsche 519A emitters in there. One's a 3,500K, the other's a 5,700K that's been de-domed, so that brings it to 4,200K. Now, these were only available during a group buy in a flashlight forum. I was lucky enough to jump on board. A friend of mine gave it to me. Anyway, these are not available at Malkoff, but the bodies will be. So these new bodies for the 1AA's are gonna be available at Malkoff soon. Uh, but the, the emitters, unfortunately not. Let's check them out. It's going to be a great video. All right. Woo-hoo-hoo. These are like holy grail lights for me, man. So this is special. This is just special. Okay, so... This is the old uh, MDC AA body. Um, this is just the cool white version. It's got moonlight mode, low and high. Uh, fantastic light, absolutely fantastic light. You cannot use lithium batteries in this light. That is because you have here a one to two volt uh, range of what this light needs. So this is using nickel metal hydride or AA alkalines. That's it. However, these two bad boys have a 3.7 to 9 volt input. So these not only have your Nietzsche emitters, both of them are 519A. We have a de-domed uh, 5,700K emitter, which brings it down to 4,200K. And we have here a domed 3,500K. So smaller hotspot, more throw, larger hotspot, more... Uh, more more color, you know, so more more of a yellow, warmer color. But look at the body change. I mean, cool man. Not only is that body change very comfortable, but it pockets like a friggin' dream. Look at that. It's just, it's a dream. It's a dream come true. This uh, scenario. So the way I acquired these is uh, a good friend of mine hit me up and said, mate, th I think there's some spots free in this group buy that a bunch of people have done on a flashlight forum. And I said, oh, I, like, I said, sign me up, man. So he put me in contact with the gentleman who was coordinating it. And he was a lovely, he is a lovely, lovely man. Very, very uh, thorough, just brilliant. And basically... I ended up with two Malkoff 1AA lights with new bodies and with Nietzsche emitters. Come on, man. Am I dreaming? So anyway, I reached out to another friend and I said, mate, you need one of these. So I'm going to pass one of them on to him and, uh, you know, just spread the love. So let's go over the uh, actual lights, shall we? Okay. So if you just see all next to each other, in fact, I'll zoom in before I put batteries in and stuff. So here they are right here. Actually, so here they are right here, more so in the camera. And you can see they're the same size, same height, same everything, same style head, same everything, just that they've got this beautiful smooth area on the body, which makes the pocketing experience much better in my opinion. I, I think it also looks better, but it makes the pocket experience much better. So unfortunately, this review is not gonna lead to me saying, hey, go click on a link and go buy these lights because you need to be in a group buy to organize something as special as this. However, these bodies, I believe, are the new Malkoff bodies for the 1AA. So I believe they will be taking over these bodies. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm told. So let's put some batteries in them, shall we? Okay, I'll just zoom out for a sec. So we've got uh, we've just got, you know, a uh, lithium ion 14500 3.6 volt here. We've got a 920 milliamp 3.7 volt here. So chuck those in to start with. And I've just got a Fujitsu uh, nickel metal hydride 1.2 volt, 2450 milliamp hour. So 
crazy runtime. Okay, so chuck that in there. So, as I said, exactly the same except for this area here. And this area here is so that the contact point of the pocket clip hits a smooth area, making it really, really uh, just slip in and out of the pocket with ease, as opposed to that really ribbed, rigid uh, area here that can kind of, you know, tear a pocket up. Now let's look at, let's look at the beams, shall we? So the, uh, the way these lights work is on time advancement. So you, it depends on how long the light is on, if it'll advance or not. If you leave the light on for less than 150 milliseconds, then the next mode will, it would have advanced. So uh, the, the time the light is left off makes no difference whatsoever. Now, what does that mean? That means that you can't uh, click off and on to go to go to the next mode. So watch this. This is the original, and it's the light's been on for longer than 150 milliseconds. I click off and on. It goes starts back again. But then, if I was to click off and on in less than 150 milliseconds, it go, it goes on. So the the mode advancement relies on how long the light's on, not off. It's the same with these. So that there and that there. So you've got your 3,500K here and you've got your 4,000, oh, I'll just move that. You've got your 4,200K here. If I move these back, actually let's, let's get them on the highest. So if I move these back now, now you can start to see that this hotspot's enormous and this one's still got some kind of brightness to it, much more so than this because this is gonna go further. So that's what we're dealing with. Now, I think I prefer the 3,500K, so I'll probably be passing the 4,200K onto my friend, uh, and I, I hope he's not too disappointed about that because I know he loves warm lights. But if I just put all three down here like this, and we can really see, if I just bring it back a bit, I'll get that onto medium because that's not, okay, there we go. Okay, so, wait, is it gonna get in focus? Come on, don't do this to me. All right, so we've got a bit of pulse, what, pulse width modulation, but that is pretty accurate as to how they look. So over here, you've got a gorgeous pink tint. Uh, I love it, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You can see the hot spot here is a lot tighter and a lot brighter. That is because it has no dome, and that is going to give it more throw. If I just move it back here like that. Also, you see the spill around here is quite even in all three of the lights. Then we go here. This is the 5700K cool white version. Uh, so that is what you're going to get with that. I actually really like the cool white. I think that the, I actually like it better than the SST20 4000K. I didn't particularly like the, the tint of the 4000K SST20, so I stuck with the cool white. Then over here, you've got the 3500K Nietzsche again. So both of these are Nietzsche 519As, if I haven't said that already. I'm very excited about this uh, review, so I'm probably skipping all over the place. But these two are Nietzsche 519As, and this is an SST20. You can currently still get this from Malkoff. These two, you cannot. You, you'll need to... Uh, go through the whole thing to do a group buy. I was just so lucky that I got included in that. So that's the difference in the uh, color temperatures and beams. And the beams are pretty similar. If I just put this one in the middle as well. So the beams are pretty similar. See, see the distance that you're getting? You know, it's very similar to that and it's gonna be very similar to that as well. It's not like either, it, and that's because they, they all share the same reflector, which is a, Oh, do you call it an orange peel? I guess you do. I mean, yeah, you do. It, it, it's pretty orange peely. So that's that's why you, that's how you get the same beam profile, really. Uh, and then it's just the emitters that are going to change the uh, size of hotspot, the throw, color temperature, all that sort of stuff. But these new bodies are really, really cool, man. You're going to get you know the exact same strength and uh, and and built and build quality that Malkoff offers. One thing that you need to know about these lights is that you shouldn't use, uh, well, you shouldn't use unprotected cells in any Malkoff lights because what happens is once it drops below uh, the, you know, 3.7 volt, let's say, uh, or the uh, one, one volt, then 
your light runs what's called direct drive. And I had to ask a friend what that meant. He basically said it's just drawing directly from the battery's voltage. So if you've got an unprotected cell or battery in there, it's going to draw it down to zero and that's really dangerous to do with an unprotected battery. So don't put unprotected batteries in your Malkoffs. Now, they've got the exact same width as the old Malkoffs, so uh, length, sorry. So you've got 109.79 millimeters and look at that, 109.74. So exact same, uh, but let's check out the difference in that area of smooth body. So this is the old one, the rough body. So I've got 19.28 millimeters. And then right where the taper is, I've got 18.41 millimeters. So the taper is not enormous, but it's the smooth body that really is gonna make a difference. I mean, it looks more than one millimeter there, but anyway, it's just, it's absolutely beautiful to pocket. I can't stress enough how beautiful it is to pocket. Now these bodies come with the same screwed in pocket clip, the same McClicky switch, the same O-ring and boot. So everything's the same. It's just they've smoothed out this area here. I don't know if they listened to customers or whatever, but if they, you know, if they did, I mean, I've, I've not complained, but I've mentioned that that's very rough to pocket as well. So I think that's genius. I think that most light companies should take note from this, that the contact point between the pocket clip and the body should be smooth. I, I think for an EDC light that's being pocketed in and out constantly all day, you want it to be smooth, man. You don't want to have to jam it in, jam it out, rip your pockets, hold your pocket, jam it in, jam it out. You know, it's much nicer to just use it, to just have something so smooth like that that you can do it with one hand, no problem. And that's what this offers now. Now, I'm assuming that the new bodies with, with the same heads are going to be the same money. So they're probably going to be around 200, 210 Australian dollars. Uh, directly from Malkoff. So as soon as they're uh, available, or you know what, I'll just link their website and I'll link the double, the one double A um, light just so you can go check it out. And then as soon as the new body's available, just grab one, man, because it's they're so cool. I tell you what. All right. So what I'll do is I'll remove the batteries because uh, nickel metal hard drive batteries are actually quite heavy. So I don't want it to be unfair, an unfair read. Uh, but let's do a difference between the old 1AA Malkoff, 75.27 grams, and the new 1AA, 73.35 grams. So that makes that, that makes sense because there's less of the body on there. So that, that should make sense. Now, I'll just give you one last look at this before we go to night shots. But I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it looks better or looks worse? Uh, it definitely pockets better, but in terms of looks, what do you think? I really like it. I don't mind it. Although that old body does look pretty brutal. I love, I love this look. It looks pretty cool. Uh, but then again, you know, this feels great as well. That taper does a lot for your finger there. Your ring finger kind of falls directly on it and it just, it's just beautiful, man. Malkoffs are just phenomenal. And for them to do this and a Nietzsche, oh, come on. So, all right, let's go to the night shots. We'll see how these two do. Uh, and because I've got other reviews on this one, I just had this body here to show the difference. But we'll see how these two do in the night, uh, and then we'll come back for some final thoughts and prices. Oh, actually, before we do that, um, yeah, that's in there. So before we do that, I'm just going to put the battery back in here and just show you again uh, from like a satellite view what it looks like. Look at that. So that's on low, medium. So we've got a lot of bleeding here, and then that turns into an enormous hot spot. And then one, two, three. So there's that. Move it back. Hotspot grows. And then just down there again, just so you can see. Look at that. Just fantastic. And now this one is the 4200K because it's been de domed. So see the tighter hotspot? That's what you're getting. Uh, from the D dome, you're getting a much tighter hotspot there. Really, really cool stuff. Down there like that. Oh yeah. All right, let's go to night shots. All right, so the Malkoff with the 519A. This is the 3,500K emitter. So look at that, bloody gorgeous. This is currently my favorite light. It's just phenomenal. And then that's medium. Look at the jump there. 
That's nice. Great tint. Just tint me out, mate. Tint me out. All right. One, two, three. Oh, look at that. Large hotspot, great mixed beam. Beautiful, beautiful beam profile. Very useful spill. And more than enough light. More than enough light. Oh, fantastic. All right, let's go to the D-domed 4200K. So there's low. So a bit more throw on this one. Bit of a pink tint I like. It's only a slight amount, but it is there and it's beautiful. Medium. So you got a bit more throw now in the hot spot. Seems like less light. Don't know if I'm tripping, but it does seem like less light. Definitely got more throw. And then let's go here. One, two, three. Yeah, so that's getting all the way down there. Definitely got more throw. Beautiful. Great lights. Stoked to have these. And the new bodies as well, come on. All right, see ya. All right, so what would you prefer? Let's just go back to the wall there. So this is the 4,200K. So I'll get out of the way. So you can see there you've got a tighter hotspot, right? So that hotspot is going to get further because it's more. there's more light being uh, focused into that hotspot. Now, it is obviously cooler than this one, so if you prefer warmer, you'll prefer this one, but this is a great light, really, really useful stuff, and I love that pink tint it's got on. I don't know what it is about pink tints in lights, but I friggin' love it. So, that's that one. Now, this one here, look at that. So, that's the warm, that's what you're gonna get, 3,500K, larger hotspot, I feel like this is more useful, to be honest, especially close close range, of course. Uh, but for what I use lights for, clo normally close range, then this is the uh, this is the one for me. But you know, if I was going to use something further range, I'd get something more powerful than this anyway. Um, so it just depends on your preference, really. You know, I know a lot of people that prefer the four thousand two hundred K over this one. A lot of people don't like the yellowy tint. I don't mind it. I do prefer the pink though. Uh, but I like this one better. So, as I said in the video, what I will do is link these, uh, well, I'll link Malkoff's MDC 1AA lights. And then all you gotta do is just click on the link and it'll take you there, and then when the new bodies have been uh, installed, they may have been installed already, I don't know, uh, then it'll just be the standard 1AA, which is like the, the SST20 5700 or SST20 4000K. Uh, and then, but with the new bodies, and the new bodies are a ripper, mate. You'll love them. So uh, just look out for the for the on the site for the new updated bodies. All right, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you had a good time. I sure did. Love these lights. Fantastic. I got to call my mate now and tell him that he's getting the four thousand two hundred k. But until next time, stay cool and stay safe. See ya.